I don't even really know how to do this or how to start this video because if I'm being perfectly honest, I'm not ready to do this, but I kind of feel like making videos again is going to help me feel better about the situation, keep me busy. Um, I know I've been gone for a month, maybe a little bit longer than a month, and I have my reasons. I'm just going to say that I do have reasons about where I've been, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that later today in the video. But for right now, I'm just going to kind of do like a self-care day because I need it because I am extremely, extremely stressed out. And usually when I get like this, I don't like to film videos because I don't want to bring negativity to the channel, which is why I have been gone for so long. But I just kind of feel like at this point, talking and just coming back to YouTube is going to help me feel better. So that's what this video is about. Um, I'm going to be doing like a story time about what's been happening in the last month later today. But before that, I'm just going to take you guys with me while I get some stuff done. I'm going to go get my nails done. Not my hands. I already got my see it's really pretty i'm gonna go get a pedicure and i'm gonna go get my eyebrows waxed before i do that i'm gonna go get my car washed and then i'm going to i gotta go by the bank and i want to go to hit it shoe store because i want to get some shoes and yeah i'm just gonna treat myself today because i don't know can i afford to i'm not sure do I need to do this in order to feel better mentally? Absolutely. So I'm going to go do that stuff. And I will take you guys along with me. And yeah, I will see you when we get to the car wash place. I am hot. I've been here for at least 20 minutes at least. But I finally got my car cleaned out. Okay, so this is what we're looking right now. That's hand sanitizer. And I'm like, I'm... Okay show you guys the back i have some stuff on my floor from like i mean not my floor from my so i just want to come on here really quick and ask a question to see if i'm the only one but do you guys have a hard time like not screaming when you get a pedicure <laughs> because i have extremely sensitive legs and feet and so she's taking this sugar scrub right now and it does feel really good and it works really well like afterwards my feet are extremely smooth but <clears throat> in the moment it does kind of feel like she is taking little miniature razors and scrubbing all up and down my legs and feet and I'm trying so hard not to scream I also get the same reaction when they take the pumice stone and does the bottom of your feet like it's just a lot I just want to come on and get your opinion. Let me know in the comments. So, just to be 100% honest, it has been a while since I got a pedicure. I was seriously almost too embarrassed to take my shoe off. They weren't that bad, but yeah, it was time. But, honestly, y'all, this felt so good. I don't even... Oh my goodness. I was like... At first, I was trying not to scream, and now I'm trying not to moan. It felt so good to finally like get my feet down i just want to come in here let you guys know i was in heaven okay so i'm back at home now crap i didn't stop by dollar general and got a couple of snacks on the way home i'll show you i got these by the way i'm not gonna eat all this stuff in one day and then i also got pringles I got Rice Krispie Treats. Two of these three double chocolate chunks. The, the best. Not even up for debate. So I got two of those. And I also got um, these M&M's. So these are the snacks. And the reason I got those is because, like, I find that often when I want something sweet, I never actually have anything sweet in my house. This is what my feet look like. Super cute. I kind of feel like I have weird toes. Like, I feel like. My toes are shaped weird, but anyway, I just, I always get white. So, they're really white. And then, I didn't end up getting my eyebrows back. Y'all, I was there for like two and a half hours. So, 
because they were really busy, but I didn't want to leave them come back, so I just got my toes done. My eyebrows don't look that bad on days where, like, I actually care. I can probably fill it in with some makeup, so we're all good. But I'm probably going to go back to get my eyebrows done, like, this coming Friday or something. But anyway, that's enough for that. I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute so I can tell you guys what has been going on with me. But other than that, I'll see you soon. It's been a while since you guys have seen this angle. Um, so I want to come in here and talk to you guys pretty much about what's been going on for, like, the last, I don't know, how long has it been since I posted the video? I have no idea. I think the last time I posted it was in February, and it is April, so clearly it's been a lot. It's been a while. But the reason that it's been a while is because if I'm being 100% honest, I haven't felt like posting. Just like I haven't felt like doing anything. I think I've mentioned on here a few times that I strongly believe that I have suffered from a mild form of depression since I was a young child. I've never been diagnosed. I've never, you know, I've never had a doctor tell me this to my face. But I feel like given the way that I've lived my life, which is pretty much, you know, isolated. I'm antisocial, having Asperger's syndrome, not really having any friends ever in my life. I think it's only natural that. You know, those kind of feelings develop. And so I believe, it is my personal belief that I have suffered from some form of depression since I was a child. Now, rarely has it ever gotten back to the point where I just feel completely lazy and I don't feel like doing anything. But over the last month, it absolutely has been that. I have had a lot going on. Um, just to name a few, my job, um, we are extremely understaffed right now, so I've been working long hours, long days. Um, I think the earliest I get off is after about six hours, which isn't that bad, but when you're short staffed and you're pretty much doing the job of two to three people in a six hour span, that's a lot. And so actually on weekends, I think my shortest shift on weekend has been a full eight hour shift and pretty much every day when I get in my car I cry and it's not just because of my job I don't want to put that out there there's also a bunch of stuff going on in my family my personal life that I cannot talk about because it concerns other people but there has just been a lot going on with me and you know I haven't been able to go to therapy in about a month as well. My therapist, the therapist that I was seeing, she left. She left her job. I, she left the company that I get my therapy to. And she told me the last time I talked to her that we were going to have one last therapy session together. And then that would be it. And so the next time when it was time for our therapy... Um, I got a phone call, which, because of COVID, that's how we're doing it now. So, I got a phone call, and it was not her. It was a new therapist, and I was completely caught off guard because I was under the impression that I would still be seeing her one more time. So, I was really upset about this. And so, I kind of explained to the new... I didn't want to talk to the new therapist at that time. Not to be rude, but just because I wasn't expecting it. And, actually, it was an extremely difficult... Um, I had already thought about how it was going to be extremely difficult getting to know someone new and build a new connection with someone over the phone. Because with my old therapist, we had obviously been having meetings in person to begin with. And then COVID happened, and then they moved to phone sessions. And so... Like, she and I already had that connection. I already trusted her. I was already comfortable talking about my life to her. And having to start off from scratch with someone that I don't know. Having to try to, like, build that connection over the phone. Like, I don't even know what you look like. That, to me, um, the thought of doing that was already pretty scary. But having to do that um, off guard when I wasn't expecting it was even worse. So, I just didn't want to talk to her that day. And I wasn't disrespectful about that because I'm totally open to, like trying it out and talking to her and everything it's just in this one particular day because i wasn't expecting it i was kind of upset because of circumstances i didn't want to talk to anyone and then um the last couple of weeks um our other therapy sessions have happened on days where i've had to work 
and I cannot um, reschedule them because every time I try to reschedule them, it's like the only day that she has open or the days that she does have something open, I have something to do that day. And so I haven't been able to go to therapy in about a month. And for me, my mom has even told me how therapy has really helped me get my emotions out and everything. And so not having that outlet, not having someone to talk to, I think that has really just made this situation that has already been pretty hard on me like a thousand times worse. Because I'm so used to, you know, having someone to talk to about my issues and having someone to vent to and not having that person there. I've kind of just had to keep it all bottled up. And so honestly, there has been a lot of crying in the last month. I cried. Um, it's gotten a little bit better now, but about for about two weeks straight, I cried myself to sleep almost every night. Um, I was crying at least twice a day. Um, I've just been dealing with a lot. And it's one of those situations where, like, how I feel about everything has kind of taken a toll on me. Also, along with, like, work and my family and my personal life everyone knows that everyone knows i'm also trying to move out and get my own place and that too has been such a stressful process because there's so much that goes into being an adult and i i truly truly in my heart of hearts feel that i am as ready for this as i am ever going to be it's scary living on my own, but it's scary because I have Asperger's syndrome and I don't talk to people and I'm terrified about the idea of living on my own and not being able to form social relationships and just being isolated forever. But that fear is always going to be there because my Asperger's is always going to be there. And so I can't, you know, not move out because of that because if I let that stop me from moving out, I'm going to stay here forever. So the stress of that and not being able to talk to anyone about any of this or how I'm feeling. It's been so difficult to deal with. I feel almost ridiculous talking about this because I'm well aware of the fact that there are millions of people out there going through situations that are so much worse. But, honestly, with everything that's been going on, um, my job, me being stressed, my family... Me wanting to move out, being stressed. I, honestly, YouTube has been the furthest thing from my mind. And that in itself just says what I have been going through. Because I literally love making YouTube videos. No one watches them. I don't have any followers. But, like, being able to put these videos online and share my life with... So even, for, even if someone doesn't see any of these videos until five years from now, the idea that I'm sharing this and it might actually be helping someone out there, who knows? Like, that means a lot to me. And so, like... The fact that I actually had to stop making YouTube videos because I felt like I was drowning in my life and in everything that was going on. That meant, that was so difficult for me. I'm going to come back to YouTube when I'm at home and I'm not doing a lot when I don't have my plate full. That just gives me, um, it gives me time to really think about how sad I am right now and i don't really want to think about any of that so i don't know when i'm going to go back to filming videos i'm going to upload the videos that i have previously filmed because i filmed like four to five videos over the last month as well but when it came time to sit down and edit them and upload them i just i haven't felt like if i'm being 100 percent honest i just haven't but at this point, I really need something to do because I feel like I'm going crazy just wallowing in my own self-pity. So, I'm going to try to get all of these videos out by Friday. And then, hopefully by Friday, the passion that I have for YouTube will reignite. And I can go back to vlogging and stuff like that. So, that's the goal. I really want to get these videos out to you guys. That's kind of everything that's been going on. I feel like this video was all over the place, but... I didn't really sit down and structure it and think about how I'm going to film and what I'm going to talk about like I usually do. 
I kind of just said how I felt about the situation. So that's kind of what this is all about. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Like I said, um, you're going to be seeing videos that were like a month in the past. And that's going to be, yeah, I'm just going to post the videos that I filmed because I really want you guys to see them. So, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you push the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Thank you so much for all your love and support. It means the world to me. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.